Hey y'all, StarSan64 here with a small little thing before I start doing some more Mega Man 11. So, around the day that Mega Man 11 was pre-orderable, to the point of the day of release, GameStop had a few of these things called Mega Man, which I think it was supposed to be like a callback to some of that old time cereal that you guys may have had back then in the um, day. But they also had other stuff there too, like they had one called Freddy Fazbear, and there was one other one, but I don't remember. Oh yeah, that was, oh yeah, I remember now. It was the one for Cuphead, which is the, um, the devil on it, so. Yeah, so here it is. This is thing called Mega Man. Tasty treat, fun to eat, and it includes uh, this, I guess this, um, what was it? it? I forgot what those figures are called. Oh yeah, those pop figures. So, yeah. So, as crazy as it is, I'm going to unbox this, and well, we're just going to get right to it. And I'm also going to, to um, taste test it too. And yes, that's the price for it, so yeah, 8 bucks. 8 bucks in tax, so I'm going to rip this thing open, and then try some of it out. So, yeah. I don't normally do these sort of videos like this, so bear with me here. Just like with the uh, Pokemon Bowl video. So... That's kind of sad that there's barely anything in here, and they look a lot like freaking, I don't know, they look like Cheerios, but they're colored blue or something. I would almost assume that they're blueberry flavored, but I don't know what it what it tastes like yet, so I'm going to find that out in a little bit, so. The fact of which did I spend like eight bucks on this stupid thing, just for, and it's not even a, it's not even like a full bag of it either, like. That's about what one third, like one third of the one third of the entire bag. So that's that kind of sucks, to be fair. All right, so I got me my bowl. So Taste that for another time because I don't know how this thing even tastes like yet. So, oh, there it is. I was wondering where the figure was, and there it is, right there. So, yeah, I guess you could probably say there that you paid more for the figure than you did for the cereal. Yeah, so. Yep, little Mega Man pop figure here, kind of cute. I don't normally collect these things, but um, you know. Curiosity couldn't pass me by. And of course, on the back of the box, we've got the uh, freaking. <laughs> we got this stupid little thing. I mean, all it is just. I uh, wish I had a pen on me, but. I think it's like somewhere around. Just follow it out. There you go. Yeah, so. Yeah, did that. So, yeah, that's done. That's done, there's the figure. There's the cereal. Now, yeah, time for the taste test. You guys were probably wondering how it tastes. Alright, bottoms up. I didn't put that much milk in it because, eh. I didn't think I was actually going to do this, so. Here it goes now. Crunchy. It doesn't taste that bad though. It has a. Uh... If you guys know what Fruit Loose tastes like, this, this, it doesn't taste that far off of it, really. So, yep. Yeah. That's Mega Man Stereo. Power up. Rockman. And anything more. But honestly, unless you care more about this thing right here, you might want to skip it though. I mean, I'm not sure if the price is really that much worth it. Unless you like to collect these sort of boxes or something like that. But, um, yeah, that's kind of really it. So, yep, unboxing video, taste test, as well as, you know, figure reveal and all that stuff. So, yep. 
Oh uh, yeah, that's kind of really it for this video. So, yeah. So, tune in later, later sometime later, that I continue on with Mega Man 11. And, um, I hope you guys enjoy. It's Thursday 64, signing out. Stay fluffy, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. <sighs> well, that was pretty good. Also, something else I should probably point out here, too. I paid more for air than I did the cereal, next to the figure. I have every reason to believe there that Airman may have something to do with this. So, curse you Airman, I really can't beat you.